What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Excel Online Business Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is Create Worksheet. Create Worksheet allows you to quickly and easily create a new worksheet inside of an Excel file that may be stored in your OneDrive for Business, your OneDrive, or your SharePoint location, or one of your SharePoint locations. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here, I have a manual trigger flow, and I can click on new step, go to Excel Online Business, scroll down until I get to create worksheet. Here I'm asked for a few pieces of information. I'm asked for location, the document library, the file, and the, and the name of the worksheet that we want to create. So location is going to give me all my locations that I have access to. So for me, I'm going to use my OneDrive for Business location, but all the rest of these are my SharePoint locations. They say groups because this is the Office 365 group that that SharePoint um, location is associated with. So I'm going to choose the OneDrive for Business. Then I'm going to choose the document library. So again, if you have a SharePoint location here, you're going to be, you may have multiple document libraries inside that SharePoint location. So therefore you may have multiple here. I'm just going to use this top one. I'm not sure why there's two for OneDrive, but maybe you can tell me. Let me know in the comments down below. Then I need the file. So the file, I'm going to use the picker here, and then I'm going to navigate to my file. So I put it in a folder called Power Automate, and then I have a flow book here. Next, I need the name. So just like the other action that I showed about add key columns to table, this action, again, the, the name, so the thing that this whole action revolves around is the only thing that is not required as part of this flow, uh, as part of this action. So I don't really know why that is, but uh, it's not required. And yeah, so I could put any name in here. I could use a formula. I can get some dynamic content from somewhere. In this instance, I'm just going to uh, call it a secret club. And that's it. So we're going to hit test. Save and test. And before I hit run the flow, I'm going to show you my, my current book. So this is my Excel spreadsheet here. I have three worksheets at the moment. There's also a hidden one, um, which is uh, on hide. And then see, there's a hidden one called Birds of Prey. But I've got three uh, three sheets here. I've got JLA, Doom Patrol, and JSA. If I go back to my flow and hit Run Flow now, and click Done. Flow's going to run. It's got a green tick, which is good. It says Secret Name. Uh, sorry, Name Secret Club. Position four is visible. Okay, it's all good. Go back to my spreadsheet and we can see that has just popped up right there. So we can now use that worksheet uh, inside of my Excel document. So you could use this if you need to programmatically create a Excel spreadsheet and then populate it with certain worksheets. You could also create tables in these worksheets and things like that and then automatically populate them. So loads of really great ways to use this use this functionality of creating worksheets inside of uh, Excel documents, which Excel worksheets that you may be um, starting your SharePoint, your OneDrive, if you're doing some data manipulation, taking some stuff out, you know, doing all sorts of things with Excel. Uh, as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. Do you use the work, the create worksheet action? Uh, let me know what you use it for down below. Are you creating data structures? Are you just creating new, new things all the time? I'm always interested in what the use cases people use Flow for. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, if you could drop a like on it and maybe share it with a friend, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.